I am the hostess, oh, and this okay. is Carolyn Sparks. How's your interview way going? It's wonderful. We went to the Met today. Oh, amazing. My, Did you enjoy that? Yes, my first time. Ever? Yes. What did you like best? Oh, I like the Impressionist paintings. I mean, I'm here at the Central Park Boathouse. So it's gorgeous. It's so nice. And all my friends are here. And I'm having a great time. I'm a New Yorker, so now I have... It's one of those weird things where I wake up in the morning in my apartment and I like pet my dog and make myself a cup of coffee and then think, oh my gosh, I have to go to conference. Just the energy at the RWA is <laughs> always, always that. Yeah, and there's always new things to learn about writing. Come on over here, Tony Blake. I, I love, love your dress. dress. Where did you get you? it? JC Penny. <laughs> was it a bargain? Actually, it was. Sweet. But it said Central Park Boathouse to me, so. What we do every day, I mean, really, we all work in our cute little sweat outfits, but we're all alone. And when we come here, the people who we only get to see online or by email every day, you know, we're real people. We get to talk to each other. We get to share the same concerns. You know what? I don't think you can beat all the things that they have to offer in New York and also the chance to come into HarperCollins, meet the whole staff, have a good time with everybody, get to know all aspects of the team and what they're all doing. It's been great. How do you feel about being writing as a duo? It's the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> we have a difference of opinion here. <laughs> no, it's good. You look so British. I do. That's you because I'm wearing a hat. It's or a fascinator. Is that a hat or a fascinator? Uh, you have to explain. Well, the person I bought it from said it was a fascinator, so I guess that will do. Well, obviously, I'm really looking forward to the Rita's because I'm going to MC the awards for the Golden Hearts and the Rita's this year. And I have to say, I'm really hoping I don't mess it up. So there's a little bit of nervousness, but also excitement. Uh, what I'm loving about conference is seeing old friends again, for sure. And the food at wonderful restaurants. And being in New York is so much fun. I really enjoy Why it. Why is New York so much fun to you? Museums. Ah. Uh -huh. There's no process. All my authors deliver perfect books. So there's actually no editing at all, especially with Sophie Jordan. My books are so wonderful. <laughs> They're actually on perfect word count every time. Every time. Every time. time. 50,000 words yeah. is the perfect word count for our first draft. More like draft. 80. I turned it 80. My next manuscript is close to 150,000 words. You're going to be so excited when that lands on your desk. I got a chance to meet my editors and agents again. And setting it in New York has been absolutely wonderful. I'm, I'm a, a small town girl at heart, but I feel right at home. So, Lori, how was your evening as the hostess with the mostess? Interesting, nerve wracking. Who was the most famous celeb you interviewed tonight? Besides me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You. Oh, thank you.